So there's no one way to do it. It's up to you to figure out what's right for you. But with that being said, I want to tell you uh, two of my philosophies that have helped me a lot, made me a lot better coach, and definitely helped the players and the team. So the first one is that when the puck drops for the game, our jobs are way overrated. Okay? Way overrated. I think our jobs at practice are way underrated. And if you're going to have a great team that plays on the same page, what you do at practice is extremely important. But when it puck drops for a game, our jobs are way overrated. And what I mean by that, I think there's been an influence of, of football coaches, basketball coaches, especially where I am in the United States, that, that they think that you know football coaches, you see them drawing up plays and firing them in and yelling what to do, and basketball players running up and down the court, or basketball coaches, sorry, running up and down the court with their team even like getting in a defensive stance and giving numbers like this is the, these are the matchups I want and this is the, the play we're going to run. And I think there's been some of that has crept into hockey. You see coaches, and I'm not just talking in the States. I've, my 10-year-old played three tournaments in Canada. And uh, it's here too, I'm telling you. You see it at, at the youth level and I also see it when you go recruiting, whether it's in junior or, or AAA or prep schools. You see coaches yelling direction to the kids often to the extent where every kid that touches a puck, he'll yell what to do. Pass it to Johnny, pass it to Johnny. Go D to D. Fake and go wide, fake and go wide. Fake the shot. Like, they yell directions at kids throughout their, the, the whole time. I think that's doing a real disservice. Hockey is about reading and reacting, okay? It's not about listening and doing. It was, uh, you know, Glenn Hanlon, I thought his talk was great. He, uh, he, he's, he said a couple things. Um, he said to, uh, to develop Gretzky and Jordan type skills. He talked about doing it in scrimmage and then, and then Don Hay talked about cross ice games and hockey IQ is reading and reacting. So I tell you what, one thing I do know, you don't, you don't learn hockey IQ by yelling at a kid and telling him what to do. They don't like it, number one, and it's hard. I remember you guys might know the name Kevin McClellan. Uh, I play, he played for the Oilers. He was a tough guy. He got four Stanley Cups. I played with him, but on the way down, the other side, when he was with Toronto, we were in the minors. And we had one shift, he came off, and uh, he's sitting next to me, he called the coach over. His coach came over, he said, hey, yell at me one more time when I have the puck, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> True. And, uh, and, and think of it, this is a guy who's played 13 NHL seasons, almost 600 games. I mean, if, if yelling at him, a guy that composed, if that bothers him, can you imagine a 13-year-old, you know, what's going through his head and you're, and you're yelling at him what to do?